Well, nearly 30 years after the original and after multiple COVID delays, Top Gun Maverick is flying into theaters. Our News 2 photojournalist Manning Franks shows us if it's News 2 approved. I feel the need, the need for speed. Thus was the birth of an iconic 80s movie line from the classic Top Gun. Its stylized and exaggerated bravado cemented itself as a staple of pop culture. So 36 years later, does Top Gun Maverick justify its existence to the audience? Well, with Tom Cruise back at the helm and a layered story that surpasses the original. The answer? Absolutely. You think up there you're dead. Believe me. My dad believed in you. I'm not gonna make the same mistake. After more than 30 years of service, Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell is called back into the infamous Top Gun program after leaving his teaching position years ago. His brash and defiant nature have had him passed by for promotion after promotion, but his skills are still needed as he is tasked with training a group of Top Gun graduates for a special deadly mission. Good morning, aviators. But knows to him, one of these pilots chosen is Lieutenant Bradley Rooster Bradshaw, the son of his tragically deceased co-pilot Goose. For this mission to be successful, Maverick must confront his deepest fears and accept that not everyone will make it out alive. The definition of exhilarating, Top Gun Maverick soars far and above its predecessor in ways you could never imagine. It offers expected blockbuster thrills that'll leave the audience's mouth agape and their adrenaline pulsing thanks to the careful hand of star Tom Cruise and director Joseph Kaczynski. Frankly, this film has set a new standard for practical effects thanks to its bold and breathtaking aerial sequences. You are immersed in the sound, the score, the editing. It all works together in a glorious spectacle fit for the big screen. The Top Gun sequel surprises with a rich and touching complexity between Maverick and being a surrogate father to Goose's son, Bradley, played expertly, of course, by Tom Cruise and Miles Teller, respectively. It's a movie about forgiveness and letting go of things we hold on to too tightly. Honestly, it's refreshing to have a traditional summer movie focus on not just pure blockbuster pageantry, but on telling a compelling narrative with dynamic characters that you care about by the time the last fighter jet takes off. Top Gun Maverick is the rare legacy sequel that blows past the original in nearly every way. In my opinion, it's the full blockbuster package tightly wrapped in a fighter jet as it climbs with its aerial wings above the competition into the danger zone. I'm giving Top Gun Maverick a soaring News 2 approved. You can watch it exclusively in theaters.